gods and goddesses and salute to the sun, so now it's time to learn to salute to the moon. It has a lot of familiar poses, so it's lots of fun, and this will again be our model for this salute. So, Lisa will come to the top of her mat. Stand with your feet together, big toes touching, arms relaxed. Now on her inhale breath, she'll reach her arms over her head, touch her palms, interlace her fingers, release her index fingers, cross her thumbs, very familiar. Lengthening up as she inhales, she'll slowly bend her body to the right, into half moon right side. So as always, our first set of the salute, as we learn it, we're going a little more slowly, maybe holding a little longer, but then she straightens and moves into half moon to the left side. So familiar territory, familiar sequence for all of you. Then she'll inhale to come up, press down through her heels, strengthen her legs, lift her chest, and practice half moon backwards. Strong lower body, hips pushing forward, arms drawing back towards your ears, chest lifted, lengthens up, and then she'll fold forward, moving directly into Padahastasana, hands to feet pose. So this time we don't get a warm up. Chin to, or forehead to knees, not forehead to knees, forehead to shins. <laughs> and then she'll straighten up when she's ready, lengthen up, turn a quarter turn to her right, and step out in a wide step, preparing for triangle pose. Pivots the right foot out, bends into the right knee, and then turns her arms. The gaze is lifted, the arms reaching away from one another, Strong lower body, long line armpit to ankle, straighten up, pivot the right foot in, turn the left foot out, triangle in the left hand side. And again, strong lower body, weight pressing down through the left heel, long line armpit to ankle on the right side of the body, gaze upward. And then coming out of triangle, turn to face the back of the mat, shorten the step, lengthen tall, tuck the chin in, and slowly round forward into separate legs, head to knee. So head to knee, bending the knee as much as needed, and as always, you can part your hands for balance if necessary. It's a little more challenging since we move more quickly in this sequence that is salute to the moon. Straightening up over the right leg, pivot all the way around to face the front of the mat, lengthen tall, tuck the chin in, pull the belly in, and round forward head to knee. Again, bending the knee, hands to floor. Straightening up lengthening and unrounding. Step the right foot to the left and lower the arms. So that is moving through salute to the moon slowly and now we'll move through chest a little more quickly. Reach the arms up in the inhale and bend the body to the right half moon right side. Straighten up, lengthen tall and bend the body to the left half moon left. Straighten up, lengthen tall, half moon backwards. Head drops back, eyes still softly focused, chest lifted, strong legs, lengthen up, belly in, fold forward for Padahastasana. Then straightening up, pivot a quarter turn to the right, step out wide for triangle pose, turn the foot, lunge, and turn the arms, all in more or less one movement. Gaze upward, holding for a few beats, Straighten up out of the right side, bend into the left. Turning the foot, lunging, and turning the arms all at the same time. Straighten up, pivot to face the back of the mat, shortening the step. Palms together, tuck the chin in, head to knee. Lower body strong. Inhaling to come up. Pivot around to face the front of the mat, tuck the chin in. And again, head to knee on the left side. Unrounding, right foot to left, lower the arms. That is salute to the moon. And next, we'll put everything together.